Cooper's dead. Yeah, this should be back in a second. Hang on. I have to restart. But, uh... Yeah, just a minor lapse. It happens. Especially around this time. This Anyways. time? Like, they're something about 5 p.m. and... Yeah, uh, everybody gets online. Complex. Okay. And, um... So what happens is, uh... Oh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Uh, we were going on about the uh, Oculus Rift. Uh... Oculus... Uh, so basically, um... Somebody's making a game where instead of girls, you interact with moogles. And... Okay. That's kind of fantastic. But instead of, like, treating them like, you know, like girls, uh, you, you can grab their noses and, and squeeze their no It's It's really weird. <laughs> you can squeeze their noses. You can squeeze their noses, you can pat their head, you can... You can do a number of things. It's just... I, don't, I don't even want to go into that. It's just really creepy. Like I'll have to show you the video footage later. But, um... It's just. I might need to look this up. Japan, why? But that. Why would you even ask that question, though? You bring up a good point. It's Japan. <laughs> they don't need a reason. They're just gonna have. They Grand old time, doing whatever they want. They live on an island in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, I can see why. They were culturally why. isolated for how many centuries from the rest of the world. And then, suddenly, late 1800s happened. Where they all had <laughs> magical ideas. Magical ideas, Charlie! Adventures. Actually, I can't. Hundreds of, hundreds of years. Uh, uh, Fletcher and... Fletcher and Pop-Tart Adventures. A hundred years. hundred years. thousand years. Forever and ever. hundred years. Adventures. You guys should watch with Rick and Morty. <laughs> it's the greatest show on Earth. I've been meaning to watch it. Season 2 got leaked recently, actually. It's really good, though. Oh. Yeah, the stream. Ferris, why'd you die? Ferris, this is why we can't have nice things! Exactly. Okay, I'm back to being able to see the stream, and now we're fighting tentacle monsters. Exactly. Moogle Eaters. Eaters. I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. Oh, they're Moogle Eaters? Okay. Yeah. Mob up. Lena. <sighs> Son of a bitch. Is Lena still being a glutton for punishment? Yeah, she's taking it in the butt. Oh my- yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's okay, because we're almost there. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see if I can... There we are. See, the good part about the, having a chemist in the party is, uh... They can just... Uh, what happens with them is they have a passive ability where every item that you use on yourself gives you double the stats, so like... Uh... High potions and regular potions, instead of healing for 50, they give heal for 100. And instead of healing for 500, they heal for a thousand. So I like these guys; they're pretty cool. I've actually never had a chemist on my team before for a four job fiesta. Remember that one time you didn't have a uh, yeah for the five job fiesta? You never had what's his name? Um, a blue mage. You did a thing, instantly regretted it. Yeah, I think you cast a spell on someone who could learn the spell, and it... Oh god, that was the best thing ever! 
You mean uh, level three flare? <laughs> level three flare. On, yeah. Uh... Oh god. <laughs> nice. I got it first try. Pyrosaurus. Hardest boss. Hardest boss. Hardest boss in the game. <laughs> really? Did you just? Mm -hmm. Sure. Why not? Yeah. That's that fun... makes any sense. <laughs> Heal it to death. You you can do that. Yeah. It's a great game. <laughs> well, why? Okay. Is how do you know that you can? How do you learn you can do that? Is there a thing that? Nope. Uh, you just kind of play with things. Also, um, it just undead. Someone monsters. just gets bored and says, "Fuck yeah. it, I'm gonna heal this guy," and then suddenly. Yeah. And then you think, well, what if I try... Yep. Okay. Space Nomura. <laughs> oh, man. I, I love it when people find that out the first time. They're like, hey... Phoenix down a boss. For instant I... death. Yep. It's the greatest thing. For... Well, it's already dead, I guess. Instant on. Um. Yeah. <laughs> just, just you just killed a dead person, okay? Yeah, that, that's that's pretty much how it works. Like, there's tons of um, other enemies that work the same. Um, there's actually like there's several enemies in this game that I can kill in one hit with uh, instant death spells and stuff. Like. Uh, if I ever have a Berserker in my party, which I did for the past two runs, I had to go hunting for a weapon called a Doom Sickle or a Death Sickle. And, um, it pretty much guarantees instant death two, two thirds of the time when you hit something. Of course, Berserkers are incredibly slow. So, you're just gonna see a funny scene here with the Moogles. But, um,. It can cause instant death on so many things. Oh, hello. This smoothie is in my way. Get out of my way, sir. <laughs> oh, moogles. Why are these moogles all in my way? I don't get it. There we are. But, um, yeah, you can, ca you can get, like, instant death. Like, the last... The last time I fight Necro... I actually killed him instantly while Gilgamesh is on the field with um, Ferris because she had a a death sickle on for whatever reason. I don't remember why. Thanks, Google. No. And we're literally just rooting. We're we're just looting his house right now. And but all they see is Kupo, so. That's how you know. One that. gill. Yep, one okay. gill. One of the, and then the one right next to it has something like 10,000 10, gill? Yeah. Moogle has like you one this, gill. You have this whole chest and you just put one gill in it. Yep. Alright. Why not? Logic. He's saving up for something, obviously. Oh, the better part oh, is... Oh, not anymore! This part is uh, this part coming up. Let's see some funny parts. This Moogle is in love with you. <laughs> it's a Moogle suit. He puts it on. Why is there a random suit in the middle of Moogle Village? Like that, I'll never understand. Magic. Ah, oh, it can't be magic. Maybe the Moogles are really just tiny people that. Don't accept life for how it is. <laughs> Moogles? Oh god. Little lamplight. Little lamplight, eh? That's that's what I'm thinking, like little lamplight and stuff. It's entirely possible. So but, um, it's a bunch Angel of Angel thinks it's a Moogle oh, sorry. Moogle corpse? Yeah, you just put on a Moogle corpse. The discarded corpse of a Moogle. 
<laughs> Bart's just reluctantly putting it on. Uh, intensifies. Just like, um... Uh, what am I trying to say? Just like... Five Nights at Freddy's only instead of animatronics, Moogles. Five Nights at Moogles? <laughs> just jumps on your face and it squeezes its nose, goes honk honk, and then go and then runs away. You're about to learn something very interesting about the two, uh, the Moogle Forest. Where it is. Because they keep saying the nose. So you gotta pay attention to the Moogle face. The Golden Moogle. <laughs> I don't think there is a Golden Moogle. You do get a Moogle in your party. Um, for Final Fantasy VI. You're about to see dancing okay. Moogles. Moogle dance party. The Moogle summoned me! So we're just gonna jump up and down. By the way, I'd like to point out that Gallop's granddaughter has a Moogle, these wild creatures with wings that live in the forest as a pet. Final Fantasy, everybody. Why not? Now we're going back to Castle Ball. The Castle Balls. So that's how much Gallop has. Gallop has big cojones. So I don't think you've been introduced to these characters there, Kate. Uh, I don't know anything about what's going on in the story. That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll give you a rundown. So the guy in the blue shirt is Bart's. The girl with the purple hair is Ferris. The girl with the pink hair is Lena. And the old fart is Gallop. And the girl with blonde hair is... Gallop's granddaughter, Kara. And uh, we're on a journey to protect the crystals from this guy called X-Death, and X-Death is a tree. So he's a an tree. evil... He, okay. he, yeah, he's an evil tree that wants to kill us by sending everything into this thing called the Void. So basically he wants to return the world to nothing. Essentially. Spoilers, man! Spoilers! Spoilers. I played this game like five times in the past, like, <laughs> two weeks. <laughs> Does he have any, like, reason for wanting this? Or is he just like... No, he doesn't really care. A typical, a typical villain. Yeah. I, I just want to kill everything. I just want to fuck it up for yeah, everyone. Much. Yeah, yeah. I just want to poop on somebody's parade. <laughs> I see you guys are having a good time living out there. I better do something about it. So this is where we learn that Gallif is a king. Because he came to Bart's world in a meteor. <laughs> I can imagine Kate just sitting there going, What? <laughs> I, on a meteor. Yeah, on a meteor. Sure. Yeah, that, that about sums it up. He's going in on a meteor. He's basically Spaceman, the original. I, I might I might need to read a synopsis somewhere. And, and try to figure out what I... A meteor. Yeah, a meteor. Okay. He just... He just literally, the story starts out where... Um, King Tycoon, which is Lena's father, goes to find the Wind Crystal. Wind Crystal shatters, so she goes on a journey to the Wind Shrine where the Wind Crystal is. And Bart's is just having a picnic with his chocobo. And um, Gallif comes down in his meteor, nearly kills Lena as she's being abducted by goblins. Worth it. And so. They go on a journey to the Wind Shrine together, and they meet the pirate Ferris. Yeah, he's an awesome guy too. Ferris is actually one of the best characters. Mm -hmm. 
That can be said about most of the cast, though. I mean, Gallop is the best character, obviously. For reasons that I won't say because actual spoilers. But he is the best he's character. He's Jesus! No, he's not even Jesus, he's just too good. He would beat Jesus in a fight. Gallif is best... Gall Gallif is best girl. <laughs> Gallif is... <laughs> Gallif is best pony. Gallif is best girl. I mean... There's, there's a point in time where he just... Literally just punches the daylights out of X-Staff. I, I can't really put it any better than that. Punches a tree to death. Yeah. Okay. I mean, well, Sado death, if you want to call it that. He was essentially a zombie. Might as well be. Two. Three days. Do that. Okay, time to equip. Team of Ball Cast looks amazing. Oh, so I have a very important weapon in my inventory right now. It's called the Dancing Dagger. Oh god, the Dancing Dagger, yes. And what the Dancing Dagger does is it does one of three things when used. It can okay. do this attack called Jitterbug, where it steals an opponent's HP and gives it to you. Uh, there's Mystery Waltz, which um, steals an opponent's magic points and gives it to you. And there's Sword Dance, which quadruples your damage output. So all in all, it's a good weapon. So you can steal health, you can steal mana, or you can quadruple your damage output. Yeah, that about sums it up. Pretty much. Mm. One dancing. of these things is not like the other. By dancing. <laughs> you do it by dancing. You literally hold a dagger and you learn to dance. I don't know how to put it better than that. So we're about to go visit the village of the Wolfmen. But I'm sure you'll, you're curious as to why there's only one village of the Wolfmen. But I have to buy a bunch of cabins first. Uh, is it the... Crap, Trent, um... Giant's Drink doubles your health, right? Uh, not double. You sure? Oh, yes, actually, it does double your health. Okay. Just trying to remember. It's, it's been a long time since I've ever had to use Chemist. Like, it's, the last time I used Chemist was when I actually first played this game about 11 years ago. And even then, I wasn't really interested in the class. They're OP pieces of poop. They can be, yeah. They're really broken. They're, you can actually glitch out the final boss. And win instantly. Uh, it's called a... I think it's Kiss of Death, or bless, uh, Kiss of Blessing glitch. It's really weird how you perform the glitch, but... I'm gonna do it anyway just to show it off because I've never had a chemist in my party before. Oh, here's the abductors. I will get their hands, I will get there eventually, it's just...